Many years back, I was a deacon. I went to this church, I won't name, and I came back from the church. It was around midnight, just past midnight. I stopped at a service station to get some petrol in the car, was running on empty. I went and I, as I was putting petrol in the car, I had a glimpse of a person walking uh, onto the premises of that service station, but I did not pay attention. A voice inside of this hopeless, useless servant said to me, go and talk to this person and say, do you need a lift? I ignored the voice. It's past midnight. It was absolutely quiet. It was the person working behind the screen in that service station. It was me and that person who just walked, no one else. Absolutely quiet. I ignored the voice. I got a little bit uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. The voice came back and he said, listen, it is I the Lord, and I'm telling you, go and speak to this person. Do you need a lift? Because this person is tired, he needs help. I ignored the voice. He said, listen, it is I, Jesus Christ, telling you, you go and talk to this person or else. I could not resist this voice. He grabbed me, he controlled me. I finished the petrol, I walked to that guy. I said, excuse me? He said, yes. I said, do you need a lift? He said, oh, thank you so much. I have been walking for hours. I'm exhausted. I said, yeah, no worries. I'm just going to pay for the petrol and I'll check you whatever you want. <laughs> Total stranger. Put him in the car, we drove. He said, oh, can you go this way? I said, okay. And on the way, we started talking. I said, so what do you do for a living? He said, I just came out of prison. <laughs> now, this guy is not just on that concrete, paved concrete of the service station. He's sitting in the front seat of the car and it's only us now in the car I said oh, to my in my heart I said oh wonderful <laughs> so he just came out of prison I said um, can I ask why he said because I killed my wife I stabbed her with a knife I said Lord thank you so much <laughs> you couldn't be any more <laughs> gracious with me so nice, man. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. I said, oh, really? <laughs> so you killed your wife? He said, yeah. He said, I've been in prison just over 20 years. I just came out. I said, oh, okay. Well, it's good that you're out, but I'm sorry that this has happened to you. Kid you not. This guy could have, could have done anything. He'd lost his life. He's got nothing to lose. When I started talking to him about the Lord, he started crying like a kid. And he started thanking the Lord and praising the Lord. I dropped him wherever he wanted to go. I drove back home. I'm cutting it short. The Lord said, spoke. He said, I just wanted to show you one thing, a little thing. If you trust me, I'll put you with a murderer, but I'll make him a sheep, not a wolf. If you trust me. 